He's got a long-term injury, I believe, so he's out for a little while. So right. when was when was he down here? Oh, probably about 2011-12. He came through the youth ranks with JJ O'Donnell, which will oh. be another name that Saints fans recognise. And we've kicked off here at Clarence Park, and so the ball is in that right back area. Dave DeAsia, we'll talk about that um, in a second, actually, the role of um, Dave at that right back position and how important that's been. And so they're looking to get the ball forward straight away. Romeo chasing it down there, and um, he causes a lot of danger. Have you been impressed so far with him this season? They've got Joy McKenna in there, the big guys in as um, Johnny Cripps, that ball into the back post, Romeo rises and a great save there, Romeo Akinona, probably not the biggest one as we were saying, all the big guys gone to the back there, he met it and a great save by Ross Warner there in the Haven't goal, so then they've got a big game, here comes the corner now for Haven't Waterloo, it's um, with Thomas Wright, right though, oh a little bit of a scuff shot, one of those ones that um, your mind thinks you can easily put it in the top corner and controlling it, for, you know really to Kyron Wilshire, Johnny Goddard and Romeo and controlling that in the area there but it's the Hawks now that are breaking forward and um, it's number 10 Billy Clifford looking to flick it inside and he gets the ball back from a 1-2 he's a little bit too easy again goes to his left goes to his right gets a shot hits the bar and it walks on the edge of the area again now James Roberts it's too easy unfortunately and now the shot comes in and Michael Johnson is not happy at all and that's just exactly what you described um, a few moments ago Jake for Haven't and overcoming to go short is Baggy but the ball comes in long Bender misses it and it oh. bounces around and it looks like it's cleared off the line it was Lancashire there Tom Bender just missing his head and um, it's going to be cleared by Kyron Wilshire but he slices the clearance off the Saints a little bit all over the place at this moment in time and Dave Deju on it now he then turns flicks it long looks for Sean Jeffers Jeffers out muscled with a head it, it falls to Billy Clifford who sort of pushes out the way Jake McCarthy wanting to hold on to the ball it's come back to Clifford again he's really putting the strings here he's now looking in for McCarthy McCarthy meets it with a head and it's just gone to the left Clifford is becoming more and more prominent in this game hopefully that injury to MJ might just disrupt that a little bit I think it does but this Ooh. rhythm isn't necessarily bad for the Saints they look a bit more comfortable in this defensive shape they've yeah. taken up and Dave Deosu winning the ball on this right hand side finds Jeffers Jeffers is through oh. has a shot it's saved by Warner oh, and the ball's Don't bobbling go. around Jeffers still trying to keep it alive but the ball is actually cleared now this was Dave Deosu it looks to me as they've gone to a back four They've gone to a back four since that change. Tom yep. Bender has gone to the left. Dave Diageo to the right. And Adebayi and McKenna are in the middle. So we've made a little bit of a change here. And the ball, um, Lancashire now going forward. He gives the ball into... And it comes a shot in into the oh. far post. Lancashire there just giving the ball to Jeffers. Jeffers trying to get a shot in. And there's been a change in the formation. It's the magic of the Michael Johnson needed treatment break. <laughs> it's worked. And suddenly the Saints are on top. Yeah, very much so. I mean, it was interesting, isn't it, really, that um, Ian has used that break. They've got out now looking up waiting for the whistle here goes the whistle quick run from Karen Wilshire first making that first run in ends up being a white head falls to Bender on the edge Tom Bender flicking it back inside oh. oh just going over the top a little bit more movement there though it was much better and there's a lovely little effort from Bender just for the outside of his left boot just over the bar inches away as opposed to, um, you know, putting their um, motor, put their, their emphasis onto the game. Romeo Akinola, though, picking the ball up on that left-hand side, getting into the area. And the tackle comes across, though, and I think he's given the corner. The referee has given the corner. I wasn't sure. I thought the tackle by Magri actually ricocheted it off, but we'll take that corner. Indeed, yeah, it's the day for the boxing. In comes the corner, but it bounces around. MJ rises, gets a fist to it. It's now bobbling in here. Tom Bender now gets the ball out to this right-hand side. Comes to Goddard. Brilliant in control brings it down he cuts now inside looking for oh. Ray Akinola the wrong pass unfortunately just wait a little bit but great technical skill just inside there I was looking where the line was but he's safely gathered it's with um, Johnny Goddard now again he plays the ball over to that left hand side Akinola now striding in he needs to get these plays he does a step over cuts back with his pink boots and um, plays a little pass in Bender now whipping the cross into oh. the middle <laughs> and it's a goal it's a goal Bender putting the ball into the middle the left back we were speaking about Joe Newton trying to sort of miss footed in some ways wrong footed try to clear it and ends up putting it into his own net an absolute disaster for having it and Joe Newton there but what a delivery it was it was into that real dangerous zone that you want those whipped into keeper could do nothing defender had to do something and it was a perfect finish for the Saints time now the Saints do not want to concede 
No, not at all. So it comes the ball in there, and he's got a free head, but luckily the ball has gone flying over the top. And um, there goes the whistle for half-time. So 1-0, bit of a surprise. Everything's gone on. It's been a topsy-turvy game, isn't it? I mean, I said before the game it would be entertaining, and it has been that. You know, Saints started well, haven't really went at them, but that tactical change from Ian Allenson, Chris Winton, has been absolutely superb. And Tom Bender there with a lovely assist for the own goal. Absolutely, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. I mean, you feel a little bit from a football point of view for Joe Newton, but from a St Albans point of view, we're chuffed to bits he's put through his net, really. So from that, from the, looking at it like that, you know, it's it's all about winners. Time Bender's come over to left back. Yep. So it is a little bit of a, a little bit of a change of um, situation, really, of, of, what's, of what's going on there. Anyway, the second half has kicked off here at Clarence Park good crunching tackle but he gets the ball forward and again looking for Vice down there and Johnny Goddard picking the ball up and cutting inside a little bit of a tackle but Goddard holds onto the ball tries to dink it in it gets a little bit of reflection is it going to be handball no here comes Wilsh he's the oh Vice coming in getting the ball there we were appealing for a penalty first of all but Vice picking things up and just sort of um, snatching it a little bit too much and just missing the far post could it have been a penalty as well Jake possibly of course a handball <laughs> rules are a bit complicated <laughs> these days but yeah Mitchell Vice did so well to drive through there and I think it is a very good bit of last bit last ditch defending that has just put the ball wide and it's a corner for the Saints Billy Clifford on the ball flicks this ball in there but not good Lancashire falling forward with a diving header to clear the ball out Goddard now chasing down having all to loop putting the ball back in great header from Bender Sean Jeffers trying to flick it past but the shot comes in there from Baggy Sean Jeffers just trying to nick it past Baggy but he got robbed they go short this time Baggy over there on the far side the, the ball comes back to Tommy Wright Tommy Wright's been robbed though by Mitchell Vice Vice now looking needs to get his head up striding with the ball into the um, having a Waterloo half there and he's still going it's Mitchell Vice on the ball he plays McKenna McKenna Kenner now on this left back berth really and he's got an overlap here dinks it inside to oh. Romeo Akalona who oh. shoots great save there from Ross Warner but good play from the Saints there as they get their heads up and try to play the ball into good spaces creating Billy Clifford though breaking on this right hand side Tom Bender cutting it out 50-50 tackle the ball goes in and it goes St Albans way good bit of football there of St Albans just outside of the penalty area and here goes Johnny Goddard playing that into the near oh. post oh, and another clever little run there from Mitchell Vice just trying to get a little bit of a flick on it is playing off him and coming into those areas much better from the Saints you know keeping the ball on the ground there is space there I think Akinola went over a bit easily he's never going to get a penalty there a bit better from the Saints but they've just got to be careful because they haven't come again down the left yeah and this is it again so Newton in that area pulls the ball back a lot of space here Jake McCarthy tries to get a shot in and it goes into that new stand there on the edge but yeah it's going end to end isn't it really taking place in St Peter Street tomorrow as well so um, lots of fun and games and a great crowd here as Sean Jeffers oh. now on the ball coming into the area gets onto his right foot clips back into his left foot stands on his foot shoots oh, oh just pulls it past the post a great bit of play there from Sean Jeffers but this is what he can do out of nothing he just gets the ball and he looks so composed for a big guy he looks very very nimble on his feet he did absolutely brilliantly to dart past two Haven defenders and I was expecting the ball to hit the back of the net he didn't but Superb play again. Oh, side. That must have been very, very close indeed. But a right footed ball there flicked through from. Um uh, Lancashire now it's over on this far side Newton now uh, pushing forward he's a pacey little player is he going to make amends he gets the ball into the Ooh, area and save. goes down great save, save there gosh yeah it was sort of like a low ball came in and um, it was again the corridor of doubt Jake in between mm. the centre backs and yeah. the goalkeeper after you no after you who's going to get it <laughs> uh, Michael Johnson has come and take charge I would probably say that it's Johnson there who was injured Adibai. Goddard, Goddard back to join McKenna inside, quick pass in there to Dawson, back to um, Goddard, Got Dawson now gives it back 
over to this left side. It comes to Kieran Welsher and um, Lancashire takes it off him, plays it into the area. Romeo's got the ball, flicks it in between his feet, but he's had to come back out the area. Wilshire though, though, playing the ball in, it's a header, and it's just gone over the top. Lovely build up by the Saints here. You know, cutting inside, going through the heart of the Saints here. Across comes Dawson, just sees him, gets a little nudging on it, but the ball comes across now. Over to the far side, it's going over MJ, but it's now cleared out here. A little bit of despair, good cross there, just a little bit too high. Looked like MJ slightly misread it, but the Saints defence picking up. Newton now on that left side, he's whipping this ball in. MJ rising, and um, you can see there, Alex Wall, the free kick has gone against Alex Wall there. And now Clifford on the ball now, we don't want him on the ball, plays it into the middle there. And that was Robertson bringing the ball down, but now... It's coming out again. And um, Sean Jeffers, he looks like he's on a one-on-one -on -one situation. He's taking on Sam Magri. He, re he releases He releases Mitchell oh, Vice. Oh. Vice shoots. Oh, just ricochets off the legs of Warner there. But good little bit of play. Those spaces are going to happen. They've just got to be strong at the back. And then the opportunities are going to come on the break here. Rarely see this in league matches. Clifford now putting the ball into the area. It goes to oh. Warner. But no, oh. Scott Rendell just in front of him. And the ball is headed down. It goes for a goal kick Belston as well <laughs> so it's all the rage nowadays so so um, Liam Sol flicking that free kick in it bounces into the area mm. but um, Warner comes and gathers we are into the well gosh we were into we must be way over those four minutes now. now big header forward Lancashire brilliant header forward from Lancashire uh, just clearing his lines the ball's bouncing around Mitchell Vice holding on to the ball gives it into Dawson and there goes Get the in. final whistle and it is finished. St Alban City 1, Haven and Waterlooville nil. A brilliant performance, a really, really good performance. Today's game played like a cup tie, but a league game. Their defensive performance in the second half was just impeccable, really. What's your reflection on this, Jake? I'd say that win is a real statement of intent from the Saints in the National League South this season. They had to withstand some real pressure early on. They survived, got the winner, probably should have had a second or third but it is an absolutely perfect performance from the Saints and they really are on a roll now. Yeah, exactly. And we just mentioned a few moments ago they had this tough start to the season uh, which we needed to like just acknowledge that they were tough games and not get down in the dumps and look at the performances and now you can see it's coming into fruition. It is, absolutely. You've seen Ian's side grow from strength to strength. The players are now getting accustomed to what he wants. The players are playing like they want. They've got the FA Cup wins. They've got the league wins. It's all coming together now, and I think Ian and his side will be hoping to kick on even further after this.